Hi, welcome to Midpoint, a place where we can reflect on last Sunday's sermon and share some encouragement. We talk about blood a lot in church, especially this last Sunday. I was thinking of going back through the sermon and counting the number of times Pastor Garrett used the word blood. Uh, I didn't, but if you want to do that and put the number in the comments, uh, that would be fun. Jesus was actually the one who brought up the topic of blood. The verses that we focused on this week were Matthew 26, verses 26 through 29. Now, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and after blessing it, broke it, gave it to the disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body. He also took the cup. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the, what? Forgiveness of sins. For I tell you, I will not drink again of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. In these verses, Jesus mentions a new covenant. Pastor Garrett used scripture to explain to us what the old covenant was about. How God created a penal system that involved animal sacrifices to atone for sins. Here's where the blood talk came in. Pastor Garrett shared these verses about blood. Blood is life. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 14. For the life of every creature is its blood. Its blood is its life. Therefore I have said to the people of Israel, you shall not eat the blood of any creature. For the life of every creature is its blood. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. Blood can serve as an atonement for you. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. I have given it for you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood that makes atonement by the life. Blood is also purifying. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 22. Indeed, under the law, under the law, Old Testament, under the law, almost everything is purified. There's the word purified with what? With blood. The blood of what? The blood of animals. And without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. You may have heard that Jesus' blood is important, and it is. Instead of continued animal sacrifices, Jesus became the final, ultimate sacrifice. His blood atones for our sins, purifies us, and gives us life. That's why blood is so important to the Christian. That's why we talk about it so much. But even with all this talk, someone on the outside looking in might still think that it's pretty weird that we talk about blood so much. Well, the Bible has a verse about this. 1 Corinthians 1.18 says, For the word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The good news about Jesus Christ shedding his blood is confusing and foolish to those who don't believe. We've probably all been in a situation where someone is explaining something to us that sounds ridiculous at first, until we try it or experience it and it becomes one of our favorite things. It could be a food dish with weird combinations of ingredients, but it turns out to be really good, or the plot of a movie or the premise for a book. Romans 10, 14 through 15 says, how then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? People are much more likely to try that food dish, watch the movie, read the book, if you tell them about it. And people are much more likely to accept Jesus if you tell them about him. This verse says, how will they call on him if, if they've not believed in him? How will they believe if they haven't heard and how will they hear without someone preaching? So to follow the progression of these verses, Pastor Garrett has preached the word to us. Now it's our turn to then tell others about Jesus. And hopefully, then they will believe and call on Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world by his blood. So that's kind of a recap of the sermon and my thoughts on why we talk about blood so much. What did you get from the sermon? I'd love to hear your thoughts. 
please leave a comment below or if you know me personally, you can just call me up or talk to me at church. Speaking of church, we'd love to have you join us this next Sunday. We'll be going through the next part of Matthew. And if you missed this Sunday sermon, follow the link in the description to watch it on YouTube. Well, until next time, God bless.